A YouTuber by the name of Fantastic Daily apparently managed to isolate a low-frequency signal that appeared in the background of tons of his evidence of black-eyed kids' encounters. He played the frequency every night for a week until he managed to capture a black-eyed kid on camera. He set his laptop up near his door with an open window that gave good access to the front porch. His laptop was set to record to an external hard drive and then loop the signal throughout the nights. Capturing nothing on the first four nights, he was finally able to capture something on the fifth night. Operators of a drone were capturing footage over Canuck Chase and managed to spot a figure. So they took the drone down for a closer look and supposedly caught a black eyed kid on camera. Take a look. This next video was also uploaded by the YouTuber Fantastic Daily, who seems to have a huge fascination with the Black Eyed Kids. In this video, he claims to have spotted a Black Eyed Kid a little before 9pm on his way home from work. People have pointed out that his channel could be a hoax since all of his videos are dedicated to black eyed kids. But nevertheless, the possibility of black eyed kids existing is disturbing. This video also comes from the woods of Canuck Chase and it was captured by a team of paranormal investigators. After setting up cameras, the team trawled through Canuck Chase, Staffordshire, in the hope of capturing a ghostly apparition on film. While the supposed black eyed child is very hard to see, they claim that it definitely shows one.
Now I promised the last one would be creepy and I think it really is. It was caught in live news footage at the scene of a fatal accident. Someone had recorded the footage and noticed some strange figures in the background of the scene. Take a look. Now let's check out the zoomed in version in slow motion. The fact that the footage comes from the news gives it some credibility, but some people think it's just some curious people checking out the scene for themselves. But they do look a little strange to be normal people though. I'm to have seen a young girl dressed in tattered clothing with black eyes in the downstairs bar. When the young girl is spotted, she is said to disappear through the wall. Recently, Canic Chase has been home to many sightings of black-eyed children. Perhaps the most famous of which was made by a woman who claimed to have heard the screams of a young child coming from the forest while out hiking with her daughter. The pair quickly ran towards the screams. As they stopped to catch their breath, the woman turned to see a young girl standing behind them. The girl was completely still and had her hands covering her eyes. When the woman asked if the little girl was alright, she didn't say a word. She just slowly lowered her arms, revealing coal black eyes. No iris, no white, nothing. Terrified, the woman grabbed her daughter. She then turned to face the black-eyed girl once more, but she had completely vanished. In the late 1960s, Canuck Chase became famous as the site of a series of grisly murders. The remains of three young girls were found buried in the woodland after going missing in the area. Many believe that the black-eyed girl of Canuck Chase is actually the restless spirit of one of those girls. Standing by the tree was a young girl in a white dress with jet black eyes. I started freaking out, Butler said. I was so shocked I started crying and had to leave. Even her partner, Chris Billings, who was normally skeptical when it comes to things like this, was at a loss to explain the picture. Since taking the photo, Butler has been plagued by reoccurring dreams of the girl with the black eyes. She says she's now scared to enter dark rooms, afraid that the little girl will be waiting for her in the corner. All of a sudden there's this very sharp rap at the door and it startled me. I look over there's two young men standing outside. Chad is my best friend. He has a background in psychiatry. He called me and he was genuinely scared. I have never heard Brian be scared at all, ever. Um, certainly not like this. I had a few friends over that night, and as Brian is talking to me over the phone, they're hearing my side of the conversation. What do you mean weird, freaky kids? And one of the girls that's over says, did they have all black eyes? She explained that she had had a dream about children with all black eyes recently. And then she told me flat out, oh, if you had let them in the car, you'd be dead now. It was almost as scary when the girls asked about the black eyes in advance of Brian actually divulging that. Because that kind of was that little additional confirmation that there's there may be something here. I wonder about the stories we don't hear. I wonder about the people who just saw a couple of kids and said, sure, you can come in. And then what happens to them? Child, 
Smile to steal.